you in? This is our time. The world's changed. And you are right in the center of it. I don't know what's ahead. But all bets are off. Uh, take it away, my friend. Yeah, that's what we do on this show. Uh, what we do is we, we scour the globe for the highs and lows, the in-between, the good, bad, and the ugly, and combat sports and beyond. Uh, hopefully, I, I think I could find that play. I know you have another job, Luke. Um, I do have another right, job. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, for this week. It's not. Yeah, Macbeth, I don't know, whatever. I mean, do I care? I don't care. You know what I care about, Luke? Fun videos, okay? Let's do it. It's Have You Seen This Shit. Let's start it off from over the weekend, Luke. Huge upset in UFC 7 Vegas fight night. How about Shauna Dobson? She was the same level of a betting underdog against Maria Agapova that Holly Holm was against Ronda Rousey. And Luke, no way. this was... A freaking disastrous performance from the Kazakh slugger here in Agapova. Yeah, you know what? She, uh, Dobson from Washington, D.C., so shouts to her. She was 3-4 and four heading into this contest. She evened it up. Dude, Agapova has talent, but she fights just like, like there's a contest where if you don't end it within the first 60 seconds, you lose all your money. So she has no Look, pace uh, that is sustainable at here. all. I'm nervous here from her because when she came out with those two uh, UFC victories right away, I mean, she was spectacular and exciting. And she was like, you know, Ioana on steroids, basically, in some ways. Uh, I thought she almost emptied the tank dancing during the introductions, and I was getting some Michelle Padeda vibes. And then to see her just fight so for broke and just go for it, you can't sustain that. I'm sure she thought she was getting an easy knockout. She was like, what, like plus 650 or, or I'm sorry, minus uh Minus 650, minus 8, something ridiculous here as the biggest uh, betting favorite on the card. But, um, you know, this is why they, they, they have the fights, Luke. You know, hopefully she can bounce back from this because Just a quick, Luke, she quick, wasn't even... Hold on. Quick reminder about the Kamzat Shemaev conversation. There's a rule that all fans should remember about UFC. Doesn't matter who you are. Eventually, someone in this organization is going to put it on you. And when they do, how do you respond? We saw how Agapova well, responded. It's, it's going to happen to Chimaev. We've not seen how he responds to that, so it makes it a big unknown. Well, Luke, I wanted to almost say that Stipe didn't win this fight. DC lost it because, uh, you know, <laughs> Shauna Dobson credit for winning it, but, dude, Ab Agapova, like, fell apart. Like, she just emptied, like, the gas tank was leaking all over the floor there. I've never seen someone uh, lose because of stamina that disastrously we've seen people fade fall apart fall to the ground get choked out luke she was done she was just done i mean like that that's a tough loss luke yeah that's but a dobson hung on didn't get overwhelmed took it to the ground when she needed to and was able to score sweeps and reversals that made a big difference yeah, yeah, shout out to that. Uh, let's roll on here. Alexander Povetkin, as we mentioned, with that giant knockout. Did you see the hero's welcome? He got <laughs> back in his Russian hometown. Luke, one day when I arrive somewhere, I want this. Look at this cape they're putting on him. Do they do this, this in Columbia? Is this going to be my first day at CBS? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, here's your producer credits. Thank you for joining us. Yes, all right. Uh, yeah, dude, he couldn't even get off the subway before they were putting that on him. Oh, my gosh. There's a full old school like uh, event going on here. This is great. He looks like the Dark Lord or something right there. What is he wearing? I don't know. Senator Palpatine, though, has to get to the, uh, the meetings, I guess. <laughs> He's got to get to the Senate briefing with. Uh, remember when they made Jar Jar a damn, you know, political member? Come on. I know. Right? I know. The Gungans. Right? I mean, the Gungans could not have been exterminated quicker. They live under the water in, like, the secret area. I mean, Well, come on. let's I dump all of our trash in the water then because oh. they need to go. Yeah, thank you. All right, hey, let's roll on. How You wanted just a vicious and random kickboxing KO from over the weekend? Luke, have that. Oh. Wow. I don't even oh. know their names. Bagram. Oh, he did the testifying, too. Yeah, he did. I, they the they folded him up, up in, in a suitcase. Bitch. Yeah. Oh, man. That is Jesus. just, yep. Just I think it got him from underneath. Out. That's one of those. That's, that's one of those great. losses where, like, the kick to the face is obviously terrible and the thing that caused all the problems. But if you actually, I bet later on, like, he busted his head open, splitting it on his knee. Like the the worst damage came from that. You know, it's like Arona, Arona, um, uh, or no, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, Rampage had that cut when he slammed Arona, 
and it was because Arona's head bounced off the canvas and slammed back into his. So his face was all bloody when he stood up, but it wasn't from anything else. It was just from Arona going limp. Yikes. All right. Hey, it's going to be hard to keep web scream off this show. I just want to tell you, Luke, he has built up a bullpen of just content for us. You saw his great movie posters before in invoking Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger with junior. Hey, how about twins? You want some twins from Christos Christophoros? Let's hit it. Jay. Uh, this guy's on fire, Luke. I'm sorry. You know, Great oh. combat. <laughs> Only the hardcore oh, can tell them apart. That is so good. Oh, that is so good. That's the uh, that's the movie Twins, basically, uh, for folks who are not uh, old and ancient and saggy bald like me and Brian. Why do I get to be? Uh, yeah, why do I have to be Danny DeVito? That's great. All right, hey, hey, uh, this is not the only fan artwork from this week. A guy named Scott Marshall. He's an artist on Instagram at Onya Berry. I don't know what the hell that means. This was last year. Someone shouted it out to me. Check out this little piece of artwork invoking what would happen if you and I in the bar <laughs> got into a little scuffle. Uh, yeah. I like, I like how they lightened up uh, Francis and uh, uh, Overeem for us. <laughs> yeah. Is, there, awesome. is, this a, is this white face or white chest? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know this about is white that, washing. Though. I don't know what this white is. White washing. It, it, All right. It's, it's, uh, you know. uh, yeah, I guess that's how he thinks a fight between us would go, Luke. But that's obviously not full disclosure. This one might be more like it of how a fight between you and I would go because that's slaptastic, Luke. Check these guys out. What are they doing? I get to be the guy in the green shorts. I'll tell you that much. I like his movement. I like his rhythm. Oh, yeah. Slap that shit, Luke. So they can slap each other? I hope this is how this country settles like local grievances. Yo, have you seen that uh, tradition in like parts of Peru, or maybe Bolivia, but I think it's Peru, where like once a year, if you have a grievance with somebody, you can fight them in the town square, and That's then incredible. like all the all the beef is squashed after that. Have you seen that? I forget what it's called, but it's got this whole religious sort of overtone to it. That's the way to do it, man. I'm not saying you Look, should bring back you... duels, but open hand slapping, you'll be all right, you know. Luke, I'll slap the shit out of you. Okay, that limits your abilities to win a fight against me. If we're going just straight slaps, all right. Stockton slap in the middle of a, of a fist fight. I uh, will 209 your ass. Okay, thank you. Hey, let's roll on here. Uh, spring break. It's drunk chick hour, Luke. What is this called? I used to do this drill in youth football, but do they do this with uh, bikini chicks on the beach? What's going on here? I did this in youth football, too. The, the, the trick is you got to be the first. We, we saw this with the dude who challenged his dad. Remember that? Yes, yes. And the trick is, look here. Big country gets up first. Bah. Look oh, at this then, celebration. Luke, I want to do one thing in my life where people are willing to celebrate this hard and aggressively in response to it. You Is, is this going to be my first day at CBS? We do this to each other? I, I think that was you on Twitter <laughs> last night, Luke. I've never seen people like love you so much. That's yeah, amazing, I know. I was huh? very surprised. I was like, couldn't believe it. You know, I've never had, I've never had a, a crowd cheer for me like this either. But look, that's a hell of a shot, dude. She actually forces a fumble here, no less. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, sign her up here. She could play DN. That's incredible. All right, let's roll on here, Luke. Check out this uh, beer pong teamwork here. Uh, is this merely friendly work between gentlemen, or, or is there some backroom benefits going on? Would you do this with members of the show Malka staff who put the show together? So in a pre-COVID world, when I was in a fraternity and we played beer pong, you know, I've done horrendous things like this that are totally the transmission of communicable diseases. I cannot hate on these gentlemen. In a post-COVID era, this is, you know, you know, these aren't the smartest people in the world. But I mean, is that impressive? I don't know. It's, it's hard to argue about germs when we came up through a society where you're, you're passing the duchy to the left side to a lot of people in a crowded room, Luke. This is just I one mean, of those that, ideas you know. that drunk white guys get that they think is like, you know, it's like, well, as long as we're not gay, we can totally do this. Meanwhile, this is just like kissing the other guy, basically. You know what I mean? That's why tip to tip is not only COVID conscious, it's, it's, you know, you know what I'm saying? You can do that with a, we can do that. You know, like I said, Trojan, you know, protect yourself at all times, BCs. I, I'm wearing three condoms right now, just so that's clear. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Luke, let's go on <laughs> this week in bad parenting. Uh, shout out to that state, Texas forever here. It was grandpa's turn to drive the kids around. Luke, Could, I mean, this was, <laughs> this was standard issue for like 1984. I don't know if you remember being that young Luke, but you can't yes. do this nowadays. I remember, I remember riding in the back of a pickup truck 
not thinking twice about it. And then years later as an adult, everyone's like, dude, you can't do that. And I'm like, I legitimately did not know it was illegal. I had no clue. <laughs> this is, yeah. and I bet those kids are like, dude, grandpa is the best. Oh, it's the best. That is great. Wow. Yeah. Come I mean, look, growing up, seriously, I tell my kids this all the time. They don't believe me. My grandparents would pull all the seats out of their van and we'd just get to run wild back there. We'd wrestle. We'd, we'd watch, you know, we'd do everything. I mean, uh, yeah, you can't, you can't do that nowadays. That all awesome. right. Let's, let's keep the train moving here. Um, uh, Hey, hey, Luke, uh, sleep down in the fire. This was supposed to be some X Games shit, Luke, but uh, yeah, look at that. That's, I mean, that's what you get, Luke, okay? That's not a proper setup. <laughs> you know what? Mr. Netgator here didn't quite have enough speed built up, did he? <laughs> I mean, look, that's, I, I don't see how that ends anyway, also, but uh, cr also, crispy and charred. Also, why is his launch ramp a U Haul cardboard box? <laughs> Uh, they may have planned this, Luke. We have to be honest about that. Who knows here? All dude, right. another, hey, dude, drunk, drunk white guys, uh, endlessly entertaining for their cell phones. Uh, Luke, shout out to that great website, show.store.com, where you can wear the ultra comfortable MK gear. And our people are wearing it. Look at this guy, Peter Reynaga at underscore Ray24 on Instagram. Looking good there in the uh, morning combat winter hat. What is the shirt he's wearing? Is that Luca? Could be. It looks like Could someone with sure. swollen balls. What is that? I don't know, but uh, he's COVID conscious, so he's 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 acceptable in the Thomas house, and he looks good in the dead of summer in that winter cap. Uh, let's roll. Aaron Gordon, Jay is saying on the T-shirt uh -huh. there, the Orlando Magic guard, maybe. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know anymore. Macbeth, uh, Shakespeare. I don't know. All sure. right. Hey, shout out to uh, at Bill and Jen's RV Adventure on Instagram. They went on vacation in Lake Tahoe, and check out Bill. Wearing wow. the very comfy green t-shirt right there. Love it. Look at this old bastard. Cool yep. as a cucumber. Look at the you know, scene I'm, where he's at, too. You know, his wife's like, what, why are you, what, what is that? What is that show? What is it? He's like, no, I, I come here for the uh, MMA breakdowns. Really, he comes for the dick jokes. So shout out to Bill there. Very, real big fan of him. Thank you very much. That's here. great. Yeah. Also, uh, we got a, a, a listener named Mike Booble of Oregon at MT Booble on Twitter. He went down to Heseta Beach in his uh, native state and went distance tip on tip there in the MK sweatshirt. Shout out. That is great. Look at this. Oh, by the way, that is that amazing. Sweatshirt, where, by the way, where is Heseta Beach? Uh, I think it's in Oregon. I didn't do much research on it, but uh, that sweatshirt, incredibly comfortable. Cannot get it back for my wife. She stole it. Okay. It is what it is. Yeah. I've not put mine on yet, but I'm looking forward for the weather to turn. That is fantastic. Yep, yep. Thank you, by the way, uh, Mike Booble, for keeping the tip-on-tip -tip tradition alive. And, Luke, we started something here, right, with those, with those Slovakian kickboxers. We didn't know what we started, but it's taken off like wildfire. It's gone Hollywood. Have you seen actor Shia LaBeouf's IG lately, Luke? Look at this. This looks like a senior picture glamour shot in an alley going full-on tip-on-tip. His new movie sucks. Did you see it? Which one is that? Tax Collector. Have not seen it. No, no. You've missed nothing. Actually, I don't think I've seen any of his stuff since even Steven. So who am I to talk? I did see uh, Arkansas on uh, Prime. Did you watch that? No. Is it good? Vince Vaughn. Yeah, about the drug trade. Yeah, it was. It was good. It was very good. Very good. I think you should watch that. Okay, let's keep it going here. Uh, check out these bros windmilling on each other, tip on tip style. Luke, I'll ask you again. Oh, sorry, Oscar Mayer first. Latest commercial on hot dogs. Luke, they must be watching this show. Can we get this sponsored? You know what though, but they didn't quite tip it. They more like they're more like toasting. I don't know. There, there's it's it's close. It's close on there. We will have to analyze. By the way, this is the weirdest you. bit that we do. You know the touching dicks bit. I don't know how I feel about it even to this day. But I quit my other job. So what are you gonna do? Yeah, it's too late, Luke. You're you're in too deep. Okay, and and when you got people out here sending us these videos, check out these two grown men windmilling on each other, Luke. I think is what they call it. Uh, there's some tip on tip touching here, so I have to ask you, just like the the, the ping pong bit there on the beer pong, is this just uh, two male friends getting down, or is there some benefits here? Are they fighting or just fat? I mean, fucking fighting, it's all the same, Luke, right? Uh. <laughs> I, I I can't I can't uh, I can't get down on this, Luke. All right, living the Louis oh, Dog's the only way to stay. That sane is here. that is. Yeah, that's great. That that's is great. certainly right. something.
There's some. There's many uh, poorly lit bars in Middle America for a reason, Luke. Okay. Shout out to Omaha. Thank you. Uh, rolling on here, Luke. I look. We know how much we both love the Shevchenko sisters. Uh, people flood my my DMs with pictures of them. There's now people who have full channels dedicated to them. Have you been on at UFC Sisters KG lately, Luke? Mm-hmm. All it is is Shevchenko sister art. And uh, what do you think about this of the sisters as uh, old school 1920s gangsters? You, you got any movement? Well, it's a, so it's like a Bonnie and Bonnie more than like a Bonnie and Clyde kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I think I think Antonina's playing Clyde fairly well there. Yeah. You know? Eh, to me, it's. I like what uh, Valentina's got rocking there with the uh, Tommy gun, uh, but I don't know about the rest of it. Old um, car's nice. Okay, okay. Uh, do you have a favorite between the two, Luke? Because let's be honest, you love Valentina, fiery South American women, and although they're Kyrgyzstan, they are accepted as full-on citizens in Peru. I know. So, and and but Valentina's the dancing champion, so I'm going to go with her. Okay, all right. I, I, I switch by the day. I won't show you any other mo- pictures on there, Luke, because they get a little bit racy. But I do have live reaction video of everyone who watches this show as they pause this to jump on the uh, UFC Sisters account. Can we throw to that, please, Jay? Uh, this will also be my first day at CBS. I'm guessing. Thank you. <laughs> and your last. All right. Uh, Jay, we are, uh, uh, Luke, we talked about web, web screen before he pointed this picture out to me. Did you see uh democratic national convention producer and director, Glenn Weiss, the Emmy award winner? <laughs> I did see, running I the did ent- see this. this, running dude, the entire say, show. Oh, yes. This dude ran the DNC from this plastic table in his living room. Um, actually a no. pretty good job. Notice shorts and no socks. And what WebScream sent to me was that this is essentially Jay's dream peak form. Jay, how similar is your aircraft carrier to this? Look at Jay's Very gross similar. ass feet as he dries his balls on the heat of the. Uh, the Very Jay, are you wearing life. pants by any chance, Jay? Yeah. Uh, I am. I am that indeed. I am wearing. Bad. But hey, look, but we're basically honest, the same Luke, because, you know, your higher at CBS was, was in some ways facilitated by Jay's great work in taking MK, you know, pandemic uh, in our house and keeping the quality the same. Uh, do you think Jay could pull off the DNC? Or, or were they inspired? Was Glenn Weiss inspired by Jason Aaron? That sounds more could about Jay right. Pull, Jay can't even pull off sending us audio that we can hear other than his voice, which that to me does not fair. feel coincidental. That is very fair. Well, yeah. it's very fair. I have more hair than that guy, but other than that, it's about the same. Well, it's hey, true. back to web screen for a second, Luke. Uh, you remember this album cover, right? Uh, how seminal in your life was this little piece of business right that's, here? That's, that is the, that was one of the most important musical albums of my life. I, uh, Vulgar Display of Power, 92, is just, uh, you know, beyond, beyond compare. Well, our friend WebScream wanted to put a little bit of an MK twist on that to celebrate your uh, your hiring this week. And uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Dude, how has Showtime not hired this guy yet? What are we doing? I, look, he's making a strong case. He's either, he's either going to get hired or, or you're going to end up in a tub uh, in an empty apartment missing a key uh, organ like a liver. And you know what's you funny? Know, one of those two are going to happen. You know what's funny? We, before the pandemic hit, we actually did a photo shoot in studio, and this is actually, that is my fist. That is a real photo we took. I don't think we meant to use it for any kind of Pantera-related photoshopping, but I'll be damned, it works quite well. It really does. Uh, let's close with this, uh, Luke. We've long had a saying on this show and any podcast I'm a part of that uh, you just don't tease the bag or you're going to get the mess. Luke, um, check out this adult male. I'm not sure if you've had dates end like this, Luke, in your life, but uh, that's got to hurt. That's, uh, yeah. Why are you the way you are? Welcome to CBS, Luke. Great to have you, okay? (laughs) It's like, well, on this note of champagne bukkake, uh, welcome to the company, Luke. Oh, okay, great. Well, I did want to celebrate with a drink, Luke. I can't, I can't, you know, raise my Kevin Nash koozie to you and, and tap it in real time. So, uh, yeah, all right. Shout Very out good. to Luke. Welcome. Have you seen any of that shit? Yeah. Are 
Are you in? This is our time. The world's changed. And you are right in the center of it. I don't know what's ahead. But all bets are off. Ah!